Deep Crates here. Call me checking out the computer. Looking at some of my joints I'm going to. Flying solo this week. Getting ready for my trip down to Miami. It's the first part of a four hour, 300 mile dog leg flea market garage sale extravaganza that I usually do two of them a year. One in the winter time with my good man, the avid record collector. Last year we went to Boston. It was kind of dry, like B. Arthur's skin, but um, you know, still, the year before we went to Montreal, that was real dope. We had some problems at the uh, customs there, but uh, nevertheless, we made it through. And I guess you guys saw, we found a flea market here in Miami, the 54th Street Flea Market. So we're going to be sure to check that out. There's also a place I found here called the Swap and Shop in Fort Lauderdale. Let's see what this pulls up. The Fort Lauderdale Swap Shop. Fort Lauderdale. Do you have a bunch of stuff you never use and are getting rid of it? Well, deep crates and people like me want it. Fort Lauderdale Swap Shop. Hmm. They have a URL. Let's click that. Whoa. Swap Shop. Looks like a pretty fancy flea market if you ask me. Maybe one of those crappy ones that, um, let's enter the site, Fort Lauderdale. Maybe one of those crappy flea markets that sell all the bootleg South Pole and big belt buckles. Those whack kids of today love the rock. You know those flea markets. They got them down here. I call them magic malls. Let's see what we got here. Flea market. Interesting. But it makes me a little hesitant. What dope flea market would have all this dope advertising stuff? The swap shop is open seven days a week, 365 days a year, including all holidays for you non sequitur people. Building hours, ah, uh, outside hours. That's what you like to see, outside hours. That means it's all the people out there in the dirt holding all their stuff, just barely holding on to life selling records for a quarter ten cents they got used breast pumps three-wheel strollers all kinds of broken junk stuff stuff deep crates looks for you know I want the records I don't want all that bull junk but um anyway so that's what's up we're getting ready for the big road trip and uh, when you go on a road trip little hallway we were just in what I call my internet cafe with my real bad internet connection. And then a little hallway leads into the curiosity shop. As you can see. So. But, um, guys, just bear with me here. Like I said, flying solo this week, so it's a little rough, but we're going on this digging trip, and it's important when you go digging that you come prepared. You've seen some of our other segments on safe digging, or where me and the Avid Record Collector tackled the thing uh, with gloves and masks. That's good, but um, what we're going to be doing is a lot of outdoor digging, per se, and it's Miami, and it's mega hot and stuff, so we're going to make sure that... We bring a little rag to wipe the sweat off. You want to bring a hat because you don't want to burn your mask. So make sure you have one of those. You always want to have your record bag. Make sure you have that because you're running to a lot of flea market heads that don't even have bags. And they'll give you the plastic bags and you diggers know. Records just go through those things like, like water. Um, I always like to carry a couple business cards. Just in case I find somebody that doesn't want to let stuff go right then and there and I say, well, if you change your mind and want to give me all these records for $2, here's my number, call me. Also, big, too, is a pen, in case you run into an autograph seeker. Happens to be probably the only uh, 
Saving Hip Hop Keeping It Vinyl Pen from the release of the Born Talent single, the 54 side. And as always, our show is brought to you by Wet Wipes. Now, it's important to keep these in your bag. One time I forgot and I put them in my back pocket, sat down to eat a piece of pizza at the flea market, stood up, my whole butt was wet. It smelled real good like a baby's butt, but it was just soaking wet. All the stuff just squeezed out of the plastic. You can get the tube kind, but they don't fit in your record bag. They're not slim like these per se. So, with that said, I gotta get ready here for the digging trip. It was good seeing y'all. And next time you see me, I'll be coming to you from sunny Miami or dirty Fort Lauderdale or the Okalakahatchee flea market. Opalakahatchee, excuse me if I said that wrong. Well, we're out. That's all the time for the Crate Show. Check out strangegibberish.net. And as always, you're watching the 54 Side Video Show with Born Talent. And don't forget about the radio show on Sunday nights, www.the54side.com. Deep Crates, I'm out. Peace.